Let's get straight to it. <clears throat> Israelis' biggest problem is not young black men, as they stated. Israel's biggest problem is truth and a DNA test. That is their big problem. Truth and a DNA test that will prove that they are not Hebrew Israelites. And I wonder why the world keep calling Israelis Jews. They are they they are members of a religious organization called Judaism, but they are not Jews by blood. And we've already seen the DNA test. The Limba tribe, 50% priest DNA, they've got less than 2%. Why does the world persist in these lies? The reality of the situation is Caucasians, colonizers, enslavers, you can call them Jews if you like. But the problem is, African Americans, Africans, Africans all over the world, we cannot call Israelis Jews. That for us is blasphemy. That for us is enabling the lie that goes on in the land of Palestine right now. Their whole impetus is that they are God's chosen people. So this land of the of, of the Palestinians belong to, belongs to them. How can it belong to them if they're not Jews? And they are pushing out of Israel the actual Jews. You see, to cure the world, the first thing we need is a dose of truth. You see, truth clears the world. Truth clears the minds. Satan's only strength is deception and lies. And it, it is time that the deception and the lies stop. Because as long as the deception and the lies exist, we are enabling Satan to do what Satan does. The United Nations cannot refer to Israelis as Jews because they're not Jews. They're usurpers of Judaism, of Jews. We know this. This has been proven anthropologically, through anthropology. It's been proven scientifically with, with genetics. They lead the world, Israelis lead the world in skin cancer, melanoma. They can't even, they are producing some type of artificial melanin so that they can survive in Israel. And they can only take so much of it because it will turn them black. But the reality of the situation is they say they were black, but they lost the melanin in their skin. But now you have a chance to get the melanin back in your skin and you say that you don't want it. You don't want it because you never had it. It never was yours. And it's time for the lies to stop. And as long as the United Nations supports this lie, we know that the, that the United Nations is representative of the United States of America and Europe. The United Nations has existed for I don't know how many years. What country has the United Nations helped? What country of color has the United Nations helped? The only thing the United Nations does is put sanctions on other countries when they don't do 
the bidding of the colonizers. So the United Nations do. United Nations peacekeeping force, they haven't solved not one problem in Africa. In fact, they have been the problem. Now they're going into Haiti. And I can guarantee you, nothing's going to be solved in Haiti. They went into Iraq under false pretenses. They didn't help Iraq, just took oil. You see, we need to recognize the truth. And I'm going to tell you this. Every sat satanic, demonic thing that is happening in the world today, it is happening because of an absence of truth. And when you give people the truth, they do what is right. Every white supremacist in the world believes a lie. Every white supremacist, every racist in the world believes a lie. They have been more brainwashed than black people have because they have to be more brainwashed than black people are because they do more evil. The people who do the most evil have to be the most brainwashed because it goes against their spiritual consciousness. It goes against their spiritual consciousness. And black people all over the world, we have to confront them with the truth to drive the demons out of them. We must confront them with the truth and make them see the truth so that their spiritual consciousness can be awakened and can take over. You see, Stop this democracy crap. The world should be socialism is when you are your brother's keepers. Socialism allows every country to treat every country with respect, allows us to treat people with respect. Socialism would give us national health care, free college tuition. That's what socialism gives us. The Bible states quite clearly, a rich man has as much chance of entering the kingdom of heaven as a camel going through the eye of a needle. If Christianity represented the teachings of Yahshua, it would promote socialism. But the Pope he is of the colonizers and enslavers. And that's why he is so quiet on what is going on in Palestinians. Some <clears throat> black people say that black people have given so much to the world and helped so many other people. We should no longer help other people. But that would be saying allow evil to run rampant and create chaos. And if you allow chaos to exist, it's going to expand and eventually it's going to engulf you. And this is what Putin has found out because they dissolved the Warsaw Pact. The United States did not. And what did the United States do? Increase NATO to where it is surrounding Russia. It NATO is surrounding Russia. And for what purpose? There can only be one purpose. That would be to consume Russia. And then next would be China. You see, what we're talking about here is order and chaos order and chaos. And that is what America and Europe is doing, creating chaos. You look at America right now, America's chaotic. You look at a coup, a failed coup by Donald Trump. He should be in jail a long time ago. America, Columbus discovered America. Just one lie after another lie, after another lie, after another lie.
But let's get back to Israel. The first thing which which has become Israel has become parasitic to the United States. Parasitic. We have a deficit. If we tried to pay the deficit off, it would cost every American a little over one hundred thousand dollars. Why are we giving money? And then our Congress is debating the budget. But you're giving money away that is needed for the people here. That is chaos. That's, that's chaos. That's what evil does. It creates chaos. And eventually, the American people are going to wake up. But thank God for the internet. Because you have people all over the world waking up, including those in Israel. But I'm going to tell you this. I like the fact that Israelis are protesting the attack and the genocide of the Palestinian people. That's all well and good. But the reality of the situation is nothing is going to be cured until the truth is known and the truth is actualized and allow to do what the truth does and that is bring about order like and subscribe and talk to you later